make sure we record it before I do this thing. Okay. Yep, okay, so before we get into this video, or stream, I'm creating a video clip in Sonos and Wallet. Make me open sponsorship by uh, Prime Hydration. I'm gonna be brutally honest with every single flavor. This is not refrigerated, by the way. <laughs> I just found it in the car, and I was like, oh. I'm just drinking it anyway. <laughs> so, if it's not good, at least I have a reason. But, um, I'm gonna save some for tomorrow as well. And to assess it for the video, uh, we've got Meta Moon. Oh, I love it. I did try Ice Pop. I tried Ice Pop and, um, I forgot to record it because uh, someone wanted a bit. <laughs> so. Oh, by the way, this is strawberry flavored. I just had a Kit Kat, so that's also gonna tear down the stars. You're going up to five stars. <laughs> Okay, smell that's good, that's one star. already <laughs> favorite one <laughs> sorry I know that every single one that I've tried is my favorite one but I'm gonna be honest apart from Meta Moon because I haven't had that this tops every single one especially okay Ice Pop is down here Ice Pop is very last it's I don't like Ice Pop it's too medicine -y. like you see all the others uh, taste like medicine Second place, lemon lime. Third is grape. Fourth is orange. Fifth, blue raspberry. Six, uh, red, like tropical. Seventh, ice pop. First, this. How many have I got? I've had blue, I've had red, I've had orange, I've had purple, I've had green, I've had ice pop, six. This is my seventh one, I've got the eighth one in the fridge. Okay, but now, this is only rated four stars. Reasons being, it does not taste like strawberry, but it doesn't taste like medicine either, it tastes more. Okay. It doesn't taste like strawberry, but it doesn't taste like medicine. It tastes like... It doesn't taste like water, but it tastes strawberry. Wait. <laughs> Just had a moment there. I've just had a moment there. I'm gonna post this on my story right here. I'm saying best flavor yet. <coughs> best flavor yet. Watermelon! I, I can taste the watermelon more than I can taste the strawberry. Strawberry and watermelon. So yeah, strawberry and watermelon. They're 
the medicine. Doesn't taste like medicine. Five stars. Five stars. Four. And then my story. <laughs> Oh no, what have I jumped into on the chat? Ah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. It's too good. Man, it's. Oh my god. It's, it's bloody amazing, man. This and this something. Send this to CBI. I want to post it. I. <laughs> it's because I literally wrote it doesn't taste like medicine. <laughs> so I don't want to post it and be like, yo, can I. <laughs> it's too hard, man. As you know, five stars. Because uh, the pink part, like all this, uh, the wrapping around it, is perfect. It's not like the others that are like, on like, a bit of an angle and, you know, stuff like that, mate. It, it's like, it's literally like, part, part. <laughs> it's literally like, part. Oh, good. Now, let's play the game. <laughs> and now, because I'm eating it. I mean, <laughs> what's going on with me? What am I doing? I, I can't stop drinking. Land and tube fell off, thumbs down. <laughs> Not wrong. Not wrong. Um. Yes. Then the tube. I did put. Wait. How long? Hold up. Hold up. How? That's not what. How, how do you know, by old, you, nah, surely not, surely it's not what I think it is, but yes, you're right, <laughs> he did, then the tube fell off, and when I changed, uh, I gained a lot more subs and stuff like that. So, yes, Lenin, Lenin Tube Pal, I agree. Bought subs? No. Cheating. Cheating, cheating is something that I reckon is just stupid. Because uh, buying, so it's not worth it. Now, how much does that even cost now? Like, if you're able, if you're really that desperate to buy subscribers, just give up YouTube so at that point. And then we're off. Here's what you wanted. There is no point in just buying subscribers. Why? You buy the subscribers, thinking it'll do something. It won't do anything, right? They're just gonna, you know, they're probably not even gonna watch your like videos or whatever. Like they're not gonna do anything. They're just gonna subscribe to you and just leave. 
Honestly, that I I doubt they're gonna do anything. They then you're like, oh, why am I not getting popular or many views? Because you brought subs, it does nothing. Okay, the only thing it does is just gain like up your subs or whatever. That's it. And then I bet you can probably buy views with that too. That's not gonna do anything. Right? You might get monetized, but you're gonna earn not much money because You've got barely anyone watching it. There's no point in just buying yourselves. I find it very stupid. I <laughs> what it annoys need. me. If we can manage it. I'm not looking down. But how you doing, Mrs. Adler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I well, since I joined you fellas. That's like yes. oh. And That's now you and Dutch have joined high society. Oh, Lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? Oh, What the hell have they done to me? Look, there, the tree line. Oh. Everybody take cover! Oh, please tell me my rifle. Please tell me my rifle. You piece! Ah! I didn't expect this. Oh, they'll pay for this. No, Dutch. I think it's fine right where it is. No. Oh, bloody hell, Dutch. Come on, damn Driscoll. What's happening? Driscoll, get up there. Hold in here. Stay away from the window. Send it. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Oh, you. Come in. Ah. Get in, get inside, get inside, get inside, get inside. Oh, what is my... Hey, come on, come on, come on. How have I missed that? This gun is so... <laughs> it's just... What am I supposed to do? I mean, he did say fall back to the house, and I went to, but they said they were covering it, and they weren't. I was so much better upstairs, man.
Why can we just fall back to the house, man? But like, where am I supposed to? Brother, let me go! Oh my gosh, this is like the hardest mission I've ever done in this game. this come on Arthur now we go back we need you in
Nope. <laughs> I thought that would have them, but apparently not. I think so. Except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, could you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Como Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. <sighs> Karen, that poor kid we spared from O'Driscoll's gang up in the mountains is dead. They chopped his head off and tried to kill the lot of us. The whole place gives me the creeps. I haven't seen uh, what's his name, Lenny. Oh. I wonder where Lenny is.
all the way up there and you know I'm tired. I'm gonna come all the way back down here. There is a last one. Trying to start something? straight down mm. still to play with. Arthur Hello Mary You came Sure Whenever you call for me I'll come uh, Oh Arthur What's wrong Daddy Your father I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I, I'm begging you, <laughs> Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... Than, than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? <laughs> and Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. Sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know... 
Oh, oh Arthur. Oh. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Please. You came all this way. It would really Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said oh. he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. And his friend already replied to this. He's like, oh, I'm trying. Down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, hey. Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, me. should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy oh. alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation oh. in that. No, oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Sock, I mean. Well... <laughs> I don't know. Oh. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. If I didn't say <laughs> what I was... Left and right, mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. <laughs> so what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. <coughs> pawning things off left and right. Mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. <laughs> this is the place. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, <laughs> just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. I make my apologies to the lady, it's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. You've never been so to me. Apology accepted. Oh, my own wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, it's... Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy, tired I and I have unwell. no such thing. You get away from me, you head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. 
Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Oh, okay. Now you want to be follow him. Down here. Yeah, I'm, I'm down here. Mary? He went around the corner. Hold up, Arthur. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. We'll just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. Oh, I see. Come here, huh. quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn <laughs> clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! <laughs> He's heading across the road. Yo, <laughs> this is kind of fun. He just went left down that alley. I know which way he went there. Let's go find out. Oh. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. Why? Oh, actually, yeah. Why are you going that way? Because I'm supposed to go down here. Oh my god, don't tell me to pull myself. Yeah. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, <coughs> you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was a mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not I've his to sell. No, it's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself you killed. You don't understand. Mother left it to me. You sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. He'll probably kill you. Oh, would you like that? Hey, you, Ashton, hold her right there! Damn it. 
stupid horse. Get out. 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 So... about that mate get out of there leave me alone leave me alone it's just a brooch I want that brooch it wasn't Gillis's to sell I bought it fair and square how much do you want for it I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say 50. Great. Good enough, Ashton. Okay, Jesus. $25, that's my final offer. Take the damn thing. You crazy son of a bitch. You don't... I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. You want to take a walk? I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Yeah, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Wait, you're talking about a color one. Hey. What are you doing now? Right this moment. Why'd you ask? Uh, well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Uh. Theater? Me? Sure, why not? Uh, It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but... <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, that's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try. 
try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. Lane. <laughs> well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> sort of beautiful in a gaudy and tasteless way. Well, that's the only drink. way I know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, I didn't mean like that. I'm sure. <clears throat> You silly man. Oh. Come on. Same reaction Let's go find our seats. Not good. Favorite one. Not all the How about here room? on the right? It's sure. After I'm going to try Minion, so it might take over and become a new favorite, but this one will take a second. I'm Aldridge T. Abington, Drink Prime. <laughs> the greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered so see, um, of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the and stir it's, it I would create is pretty good. in this locality. Just as starting a or not? Are you in a rush? The greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. Prepare. For the grandest excitement of your curiosity. This right here is fire, a five star. It's the only drink that doesn't. I encourage um, any it doesn't taste like medicine. So that, that, that's why I like it. If you have it a settled like aversion to manual like labor as I do, for entertainment is a mm. gift. I love it. I love it. The winter better than the home any packed better though. larder or and root cellar. Some like some of the other things. Of canned for goods. I feel that, like the more they now, drink, the worse it gets. This stays the same flavor the entire time. It's really good. Musical well. performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky. Thank you for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called San Denis. If if everyone in the chat right now like, do we just want us to just leave? I'm happy to just leave. But I'd rather see you. New Yeah, this is going on for question. Okay, can we leave now? <laughs> we really can. Oh, flawless. 
perfect. Oh, I see you, you. You love her dulcet tones, right? Yes, she is pure spectacle, and I assure you, she can charm any beast, any beast hey, at all, from come on, let's get out of here. to killer oh. whale. <laughs> okay, sure. Your if you mother want. most likely told the best you of it. not to play with fire. <sighs> All right, you better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but shame we couldn't stay longer. Sorry. <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in that. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. Got some people I need to take care of. And once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur. If we're gonna run away anywhere, we need money. And soon I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money. I had some, but then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you.
Marker. Exactly what I'd expect from you. You blackguard, you foundling. My dear Helen, I told you, I told you quite clearly that this man, this creature whom the fates have decided to call my brother, is nothing but a spreader of lies and a believer oh, of nonsense. Our mother had a son and then was buried. But a witch passing the house gave her a boy and she kept it. Unbeknownst to my mother, that boy was sent forth from the fiery pits of hell. Oh, you can tell he's not human because of his beady red eyes and his bestial tail. People have tried to drown him many times, but of course, he floats. No, the only way to kill him is to stab him in his villain car. That's it. Mission. How I how I fossil over there. me to do your <sighs> what does it want me to do when I'm being chased by people
help. Who calls me to help? Against. You came. Of course I came. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. There. You see that light up there? I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Hey, Tom? Picking up? Yep. Supposed to meet the early train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. You must be Danbury. What? Will you be quiet? Need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. One about the oil near Wapiti. I... I... Danbury. Think, man. Mind is a terrible thing to lose. Especially over such a nice I... floor as this. It's here! It's here!
done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. No. Danbury. Yes. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Our head office will send me back to get you. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. He was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were gonna enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. Now what's gonna be? Oh, that's going to be it. Because hopefully let's start this game back up. I'll save it, start this game back up. Hopefully when I do, um I spawn. I haven't been to Blackwater actually. I've been, I have been here, but like, I haven't been back. I reckon if they make a Red Dead Redemption 3, it should be based on the part just before this. So I bring it up in Blackwater and whatever happened in Blackwater. Bring it how it ended and stuff like that. Because I say the people that are lost. So I reckon it should start.
story, save game. 